X's and O's, did Baffer do the right thing? Maybe, maybe not, let's find out. Part one. Welcome back to X's and O's podcast, guys. Thank you for joining us once again. Right at the top, um, if you haven't listened to our other episodes, please go back and have a listen to all our 60 plus episodes. Oh, man, um, and if you haven't, please vote for us. We've been nominated for the best UK sports, cast, uh, sports podcast. And we also have a chance to be voted number one, two or three for the Listener's Choice Awards. All you got to do is go to our Instagram or Facebook, click the link in our bio, search for the X's and O's and vote for us and confirm in your email. So please, please, please vote for us. It'll go a long way. But um, today's episode um, is one that I've been excited to do because obviously being uh, Brit Ball athletes, we're in the know and obviously it was the de- decision was made to cancel the season for obviously the good reason, the right reason because of the, the current situation. So what we're going to discuss today was was hotly debated in, on socials, and I've been waiting to ha- to say my bit, um, whether you like it or not. Tough. Um, yeah. All right. So on today's episode, we got myself, the voice of reason. We got the bronze bomber in the room. Uh, we got Tinker. Hello. And we got Mister Solenke. You know, girls. So let's get straight into it. So like, obviously, league has been cancelled. Mm, yeah. Some people paid fees. Or subs, as you call it. <laughs> some people didn't. Well, hey, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> some people didn't. To listen. be fair to you, it's de- if you haven't, yeah. if you have, if you haven't, it's all good, isn't it? Because yeah. you ain't got to be part of this, this, this whole. No, it is, yeah. In yeah. fairness, because if Jack Daly watches this, I'm gonna get in trouble, innit? So, in fairness to yeah, me, yeah, Jack Daly, watch it. <laughs> In fairness lie. to me, that mm. week I was going to pay yeah. and then I was hearing all this madness. I was thinking, now nah, let me just hold fire. Wait, do you mean subs or the register? Both, both. Oh, okay, I was yeah. going to do so both. Because, yeah. man, so basically, yeah, our team is so strict that if you don't do your registration or um, and pay the first bit of your subs, like just go down the depth trying it. Mm. So I come to training one time, I'm bopping into training thinking, yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. And the co- coach is calling out the, calling out the ones, yeah. And I was, I was like... <laughs> You call out the twos. <laughs> call out the Man. threes. I was like, yo, coach. What happens? Like, um, I'm just, he's looking like this. No subs. Cool. No registration. Yeah. Oh, that's because <laughs> you're, like, you're fat. Huh? I've lost weight, baby. <laughs> but yeah, man, I was, I was meant to do it that week and then obviously it's mess happened. So I haven't. So, but mm-hmm. if you haven't and you're like me, boy, happy days, isn't it? Boy, because, and I, so like just off the back of what Solanke said, so obviously some people paid their registration fees. I think it went up, obviously, once we once it was announced that we had a new CEO for the, for the sport, for the league. Um, it went up to £50, I believe. Yeah. Then the season got cancelled. Obviously, the first thing people are thinking is, when am I going to get my money back? Yeah. Let me just do a quick a quick um, rewind here. So I'm sure everybody is aware, I'm talking about everybody now, this is everyone watching as well, like I saw in the room. The state of Baffa has been in a state of turmoil for God knows how many years, right? Mm. Am I lying? Mm. It's no. true, right? Mm. Um, last Is it last year? Last year, the league announced that we, we'd hired a CEO for the first time in the, in the history of the league, yes. I think, in yes. the history of the league. A paid CEO. A paid, a paid CEO. CEO yeah. Yes, he's being paid and underpaid at that. Um, Word. Underpaid at that. For the first time in the league, right? And there was a lot of uproar. People were like, well, so now am I paying for him, et cetera, et cetera. Park that to the side. Um, then Baffa continued to make changes. They changed people on the board, added new members, removed new members. I believe they also changed the way people could be voted into the board as well, with given, given and taking away powers from certain people. Um, again, change, more changes within the sport. Changes that people have been screaming for for years, right? People, change, people have wanted the league to get better, yeah. right? Yeah. If you want the league to get better, change has to happen. It's, it's, it's pretty straightforward, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Fast forward now, um, people are hearing how much the CEO has been paid. There's uproar. Fees have gone up. There's uproar. I understand yeah. that. Um, but the state that, the, and I think we've said it many times before on so many socials and debates and, and podcasts and episodes, the, the state of the league that it was in requires requires the, our, our, the members, uh, as in us, to have to fork out a little bit to help the club get, to help the league get to where we want it to be, right? Yep. So I understand people are from different financial, financial situations. I totally get it. Yep. This is not to shame anybody's situation or to say, because you can't afford to pay it, you can't play, et cetera. It's, this, that's not the point. The basis is for the league to grow, unfortunately, it's going to have to come from the, from the, the players at, at some point. Not always, but at and some point. Just on that point, that's in any sort of recreational Correct. or amateur sport. Correct. Am- we, that's the word. You, you amateur. play, you, you, listen, I play Sunday League, you pay to play sort of thing. Like some of my friends play field hockey, they pay to mm-hmm. play sort of thing. So that's not just American football, no. by the way, that's across no. loads of amateur sports. Exactly. Mm. So, continue, I'm oh, sorry, you but, but But put yourself in the, those who are, are causing resistance shoes. Yes. 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 You go to a restaurant with your missus, yeah? Yeah. Yep. Date night. Yeah. Yep. You order food. 
Yeah. Yep. And you get half, you order pizza. Hear that. And they give you half a pizza. Okay. Yep. What, what are you thinking? I can't answer that question because it's a completely different scenario and I, t- I will tell you why. Obviously, at first I'm thinking, I want the whole pizza. I've mm. paid for my pizza, so give me my pizza. Mm-hmm. Hence, I guess the relationship here is I paid 50 pounds for subs. I want my 50 pounds back, mm. right? Okay. Yeah. That fifty pound isn't necessarily you saying I'm playing because I paid my fifty pound. Doesn't I get it? it mm. your, it's your registration fees. I think people are forgetting that that covers a few different things. That fifty pound, yeah. it went up for a reason. Yes, we oh, have yeah. to cover. We have to help subsidize the, okay. the payments to CEO, but it covers a number of things. Whether it be I don't know having refs or or, or Lo- um, those are things that they see covers, the CEO get, having having actual the, the website there. Honestly, there's like, things covers, that the volunteers need. There's there's so many things that mm. we. Even if, even though we haven't seen it, mm-hmm. I've already been given a service That's for that it. has needed to be paid for. Exactly. And because that service has already been done, i.e. having a platform that we can use to put those and um, pay our fifty pounds to, that's that's been paid for by Bath mm-hmm. already. So mm-hmm. That platform it's itself that could cost X amount, but that's mm-hmm. already been paid for. They're not mm-hmm. going to give us money back because they've already taken loads of those payments. They've they've fulfilled their part of the agreement. It's not their fault that you know this has happened and yeah. you know. Baffer having to fork out some money to try and pay everyone back. Mm-hmm. That's, it's just not going to happen. Sadly. Exactly. Mm. So like, I, I, I get where people are coming from totally and I don't want to hear nothing about it because the nose has been paid off by Baffer. We definitely haven't. And <laughs> so I wish we had. And we're, <laughs> and we're trying to promote, and I am trying to promote them obviously because we want the game to be better. But essentially, I think for me, what it comes down to is that £50 that everyone's talking about and this is no disrespect to nobody's situation because everyone's in their own shoes. I think we just have to remember and I think a lot of people either just didn't realise this or it was in the back of their minds. We want the league to get somewhere, right? And so we've made changes to get there. Obviously, we have a, a new board and a CEO who, yes, has connections to Sport England. And I, I, I envisage that that is a long-term goal to secure funding, which I'm sure yes. he could potentially do with time, right? Time. It's been, yeah. what, less than two years since they've been, he and the new team have, have been in place. Time. Build foundations and move from there, right? Yeah. Okay. Now that this has happened, the situation, the season has been the season has been cancelled. The majority of people have paid the fifty pound registration fee, and now everybody's everybody wants it back. But what I think people are missing is the fact that the league isn't cash rich. Yeah, yeah. it's not cash rich at all. Yeah. right. So us paying all the members that are paying that fifty pound, the league can use some of those funds to quickly attrib- attribute to certain things they want to do, right? Yeah, because we want the game to get better. Yeah. So while people are thinking that I've paid that. Fifty pounds strictly to step foot on the pitch. It doesn't work like that. No, like, like we that. said, it covers it covers a number of things, whether it be bath around the refs or uh, I don't know. Um, the you're website. paying you're paying the league to be the league. You're, you're paying them. You're to paying exist your almost. club, in my opinion, to play football. In so, your club. Um, I know loads of clubs that have turned around to their their teams and said, "I know some of you might some of you might have only paid one month's worth of subs." Unfortunately, we can't refund that because we provided you yeah. one month's worth of service exactly. sort of thing. Yeah. Or I think that's why we need to that you train on exactly like, that. I think that's that people need to use that same energy with mm-hmm. Bafa. Mm-hmm. You paid your fifty pounds. The seasons a, a year. They've still provided you with X amount of months worth of service. And in my opinion, I think that that warrants the bit of money that they're taking away right. and offering to give back to everyone else. Right. But like I said, there's clubs that have said. You, you've paid X amount because mm-hmm. we've already given you this amount of service. Mm-hmm. The club need to sort of swallow swallow that, exactly. and we can. This is how much we can give you. Mm-hmm. There, there's, some, there's some, there's some, there's some, there's um, some clubs whereby some players haven't played paid paid no subs as of yet, mm-hmm. and they're asking those players saying, "I know we, we're not going to have a season, but you st- you've still used you know the pitches, Facilities, you've still used our service, trained. huddles, mm-hmm. exactly a, a, X amount of things. No matter, it could be anything. Mm-hmm. I know you haven't paid any subs, but we're going to need." This contribution mm. because you've still used an mm. element of what we've we've booked sort of thing. You've mm. still used an element of this season. And if I was that player, I'd happily be like, you know what, that, that's fair enough. We're not going to get the twelve months, but mm. I've been tr- going training for the last two months. I've been using how do I've been doing so many things. So I'll give you two months worth of subs, mm. and then we go again next season. So what's the se- what's now the incentive for me next season to pay my registration early? If if this could happen again, mm-hmm. you're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we well, there, right. there, there is there is no there is there is no incentive, a, but there will be a cut off. Simple as just make sure you pay by the cut off. You, I think you were you going to jump in. Yeah, I was going to jump in and say, as annoying as it is, that refund how how much was it twenty three pounds twenty three pounds yeah. out of yeah, sorry, fifty yeah, yeah. Um, technically technically and I hate to say it you're not entitled to that mm. that was a that was more of a goodwill thing like or whatever however you, you want to phrase it because mm-hmm. if you look at the small print i think uh was it dot who came on the yeah. insta live oh, yeah. and he told yeah. us like you know if you look at the small print of when you pay that registration that money's gone 
Yeah. You've paid yeah, it. You've paid it. Because yeah. technically, you've bought insurance or you've bought whatever, you've bought some co- uh, form of cover for mm-hmm. a year. Yeah. Technically, you're not entitled to that back because you're yeah. covered by the insurance. Yeah. If you were to get injured playing a game. That, yeah. But then there's like, you know, we're not playing. And that's why they gave you some back. But yeah. Because I'm, I'm back. I'm back. Because the uh, UKFL and some other uh, media outlets released yeah. a four or five page. Oh, is this, the, letter, is this the coaches that yeah, came together? Coaches so, and teams that yeah. have endorsed, mm-hmm. who, have, who, who, who have put a proposition to, to Baffer based mm-hmm. on this decision. To yeah. basically say we want our money. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know what the, the details of the. I, I, I'm going to be honest, I didn't read all of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, why? I'm, I'm convinced. If, if you're saying, if what you're saying is, mm-hmm. is true, which mm-hmm. is probably is, mm-hmm. why, are they, why are they even resisting that? Like, what, what, what is the resistance for? One, Surely the resistance in is. In my opinion, is, one, because. People are bored, mm. and and that's me saying it nicely. Yeah. That's me saying it. some people, and I'm not cursing the people that put that out because some of them I know, know some of the coaches that put that out mm-hmm. or endorsed endorsed that I know really well and have a relationship with. And I but I just I just feel well. like we're trying so hard as players, coaches, anyone that's part of Bafa to promote our sport. Why are we trying just as hard? Mm. So to to break down. The, the overseen organization, mm. like in my, in my opinion, these guys are work are working hard, and that's my opinion. Someone can tell me I'm yeah. wrong and bring facts and, and and their own opinions, but in my opinion, from what I can see mm-hmm. from the conversations I've had with Baffa, I think they're working hard to sort of put our sport on, on the map, mm. Mm. and 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 you can't doubt that. Mm. People might say CFO used us or whatever. We still had a CFO combine. You know they're still they're still pushing out players to go to the NFL um, exactly. international series. Mm-hmm. They're doing their part. They they have a presence at the NFL games that come over here. So they're they're endorsing us, for example. And I'm not, and I'm not and I'm not here saying because they're endorsing us, I'm supporting them. That's 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 false. Because when they do wrong, we call them out for exactly. doing wrong as well. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like pe- they put that out, and the re- and again, not a lot of people support them. Mm. So it, it just goes to show that, yeah, they have an idea, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's right. It's just mm. their opinions. They're just a group of guys like us that have an opinion that Baffer should return all of the money. They have their reasons and we have our reasons. But I just feel like mm. rather than put it out on wherever they put it for, for thousands to see, mm. send it to Baffer. They even send it to us. Mm. Yeah, all that, yeah. Yeah, like people have come to us and said what they Yeah, people have come to us and said what they think. But I feel like rather than, you know, come to us or and try and get other outlets to push things like that out. Go to Baffer first. Have that conversation with Baffer. Mm. If you don't like what they've had to say, if they've, if they've done you wrong, then yeah, share it, to, share it to the masses. But don't mm. try and rip them down publicly, in my opinion, mm. without having that conversation with them and saying, you know, this is what we want. Boom, boom, boom. Give us the answers or we're going to go to the masses and see what they think and then maybe do some form of petition. Mm. I think maybe that was the way to go around it mm. rather than say, here's, here's what we want. You want to? Um, some people are saying it's like it was like a players association. Yeah. If it's I a players association, yeah. coaches shouldn't be involved, in my opinion. No, I agree. Because mm-hmm. it's players. It's, that's it. If it's a players association and the player, the players agree to it. Mm-hmm. Coaches, thanks, but no thanks. Thanks for the idea. Let the players deal with it. Mm-hmm. That's that's the way I see it anyway. Well, two things. Firstly, you said that thing about the players association is great. Yeah. But there isn't one currently. Yeah. So I think what these coaches are doing, they are representing their their players. They're looking out for their players' best interest. If their players are upset, if the majority of their players are upset, yeah. that's when they then, to almost then, the then sort of but yeah. then you should have a player a player rep or a player chairman. If you if your if your coaches and you're looking out for um the livelihood or trying to protect your players, you in my opinion as a coach should ask your team to pick a player or vote for a player to, to be in to represent mm. rep- represent the, the, the players and they have that conversation with the coaches and then they can bring things like that forward mm. to be the player rep. Yeah. And I understand coach, some pe- people are going to say, yeah, but coaches can represent players. I, I get it, but from a ground level, not That's every same. coach is going to no, no, no. understand or feel the same way we feel. Mm. Simple so as that. Im- sorry, no, 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 it's, no, no. to finish my first point, sorry. it's important to, I think, hold Baffer accountable, hold yes. them to a high standard, yes. hold them to the standard you want and I think that's good. So I think in terms of that letter, I think yeah. it's good because it's it holds Baffer accountable. They have to explain themselves, um, and I think that's what a players' association. Uh, association or should the letter have well. gone in play in public forums, or should or the letter have gone to the press? Yeah. It should have been sent privately first. I don't know what I don't know how it was sent, but yeah. I think it should have been sent privately first and then made public. Yeah, because I don't think all of that stuff should go on behind closed doors. I think too much of that has happened in the past, and that's why a lot of people are upset with you Baffer. Want yeah, you want. Um, you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Good clarity yeah. in that. Yeah. Okay. You want so a few yeah. things like. Just to well back the coaches almost. I know 
the coaches had their own sort of graph because I don't know it ins and outs, but something to do with coaches paying fees. And I think some yeah. clubs, I think some clubs pay for their coaches' fees and things like that, where mm. some coaches pay their own fees. Mm. Yeah. And I don't know what the outcome is, but I know some coaches were wanting to have answers as, as if to say, well, we haven't had the season. We've had like maybe a quarter. Yeah. What happens to me? And I don't know any information. So I'm st strictly speaking from the whole player's perspective. So apologies to coaches. I don't really understand that, that side. Yeah. But another thing is, obviously everyone was, a lot of people were, were wanting the idea of if carrying over the fees paid to the following season, which I would have loved to be fair. Like no, I, I paid my subs bit, out yeah. um, arbitration fees. So I would love to have to have my fifty pounds carry over to next season so yeah. I don't have to pay next season, right? But the reason why is still quite clear. And I don't know how many people read the Q and A where there were these questions that we we're asking were listed. I don't know if the carryover was, but the fact about how much why they're not getting the full refund, etc., was in the Q and A. There's and I'll read it if we need to. But, why are membership fees not being fully mm -hmm. refunded? But Baffer is still paying for a chief executive or oh, no, that's a, a different one. I can't, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't I, that's another one, yeah, because some people, yeah, some people are saying, why is uh, the CEO not being furloughed? He <laughs> yeah, still has a job that. to do. Mm -hmm. Like, he's running the league, you know what I mean? Like, with the help of yeah. the team. But coming back to the reason why it hasn't been carried over, again, we said it, some of those funds of the £50, which, which doesn't, which isn't strictly meaning that because you've paid, you can step on the field, it subsidises other things. So whilst, it's instant cash for the league to grab and, and, and put towards making the, the, the game better, it's gone. Yeah. You're right? So you can't carry the fifty pounds. Maybe maybe they could maybe potentially they could have done a poll beforehand and said, actually the remaining fees that you are gonna get, maybe we can vote to see either yeah. you can get it back or it goes towards next season. But because I'm sure people would have said regardless, yes. Regardless, people are always gonna moan, people this are always the gonna play. No matter what yeah, happened. I think because of the state because of the state of the league histor excuse me, historically, people love to bark, they do. It's just a, a fact. So, like yeah. I said it earlier, it's That's just why true. we have like, a podcast. Well, this is it. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly that. and again, if Baffa do wrong, we'll call them out. If we're not happy, we'll call them out. But if we think they're doing something and they're trying to help the game, we, we will all equally speak about it. Mm. You know what I mean? This isn't a pro Baffa because we want because because we feel like it. We can we're reacting to what we see. So, in terms of why it hasn't been passed over, that is the reason because funds have been allocated mm. elsewhere again to try and help and improve the game. Yeah. So many people are so quick to be so aggressive on socials and like all the names on the planet and all this, that, and, and why is the CEO not being furloughed? He's stealing our money and all this. Like any other business, any other business example, like Tinker said, you, none of, nobody would say this. Like if you pay yeah. towards something and you've put a deposit yeah. down and something happens and you don't get your deposit back, the deposit yeah. is there for a reason. Mm -hmm. So like yeah. they have to cover themselves. Yeah. It's the same thing. And yeah. that brings like, me on to my second point, yeah, which was like, you know, I've met Pete face to face I've had a conversation with him likewise like even like you know let's play that we have some people that's still skeptical let's say he doesn't care about you as an individual mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. he, he probably does but let's say he doesn't this is still going on his portfolio this is still <laughs> exactly that, going yeah. on his CV this is still a big project for him and he's he's been successful in the part that's what Baffa hired successful. him for a reason Baffa didn't hire some bum off the street no. doesn't know what he's yeah. doing with no CV the guy's got a really good CV he's mm -hmm. been successful he knows what he's doing yeah. no one's given him a chance yet I this stuff this isn't so gonna happen times, overnight man. the gfl the polish league whatever it is none it's of that was no built man, overnight honestly. this is gonna take time and i think we need a paid ceo he needs a salary correct mm. 100%. and i think we need to give him a little bit longer mm. obviously still hold him accountable still yeah, call him out we still need like thing. all the people complaining or whatever I, you have the right to do something i think you should i think well, it's I absolutely essential that you do and it's essential that they also reply yeah, yeah. And that, and, but right. that Q&A, when was the last time you saw a Q&A with Baffa? Yeah. The Q&A is in depth. Like um, when you're it, done, yeah, I'm going to read the section that yeah. we're discussing, but continue. But yeah, no, that was it really. I think we just need to give him a little bit more time, see what he does. If like a year and a half goes by or two years, however long you want to leave it goes by and then nothing's happening, it's time, then it's time to be like, all right, Pete, what are you doing? Exactly mm. that. Like, but just like any other job, you review it. If it's not working, yeah. sorry, Pete, thanks, but no thanks. Then you get someone else in. But and, mm. and, until that time comes, I feel like all we ha all we can do is hold him accountable. And again, rather than bash it, bash Baffer in public, it's because I don't know. I, I just feel like if I was an outsider coming into our sport, like he always says, an investor. Yeah, I'm an investor yeah. coming into this sport. Yeah, you're gonna do um, adequate research. Yeah, you're gonna you know. do your due diligence. You're gonna try and find these forums. You go into that this forum and just see. Okay, then they don't like the uh, um, governing body. <laughs> don't like the governing body. Oh, the governing body um, are stealing money. Nah. I'm not, I'm not going to invest in this guys. No. Exactly. These things don't need to be, they don't need to happen in public unless there's a, a, a serious out, <clears throat> outrage or outroar. And I don't think there is at this point in time. I don't yeah. feel like there's enough for us to be like, Baffa are completely doing wrong. Mm. And if and if they were, that post or that um, 
um, manifesto that they, those coaches put out mm. would have serious backing right now, yeah. and it, it might it might potentially do. But I haven't, I haven't. I don't know if you guys have heard anything. But I haven't no. heard anything from that day that it's been posted. I don't think anyone's followed it, followed up on it. So, and if it has, then you have a reply. Let us know. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Mm. Let us know. And, yeah. Another thing that investors like is public confidence. Mm. If you're yeah. not willing to put fifty pound or hundred pounds into your own league, how are they going to be confident that? You know that, that, that what they're yeah. going to invest in is going to be successful. Yeah. They don't know because you yourself don't believe in it. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. You're, right. You're right. So it I can invest a million You're or right. two million right. in something you yourself don't believe You're in, right. and you playing. Yeah. Yeah. One of the first things I ever read about a sport in this country was when me and my boys at school were looking into it. We were on the London Cobras website. This is back in 2008, maybe. We were looking at the, their website and one of the first things they said was like, this isn't a cheap sport, this is an expensive sport no. to play. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it makes sense. Yeah. Like, yeah. This isn't, I've said it before, it this isn't sense. like rugby. We can go sports direct, buy a gum shield and a pair of boots yeah. and you're ready to go. Yeah, it yeah. Take, yeah it, it's it more than that. It takes a lot to run this. It's more yeah. than so takes a lot. I want to quickly just read the official statement. I'm hoping people have heard this already because they've, they would have, as I say heard, I'm hoping people have read this already on the, Mm-hmm. the Baffle website because you're so people are so quick to go and say X, Y, Z so I'm hoping you've taken the time to go and read the FAQ as well right so like in response to what is happening to my membership fee for the season will I get a refund given there's no com- uh, competitive action so like for certain for certain contact mem- uh, membership types there'll be a 50% refund of the net income received by Baffle for this year's membership fee right the reason net, that net income is, is key, you know. Yeah, that's another net thing. Net income is net, very that's key. That's another thing. Mm. The reason that this is fifty percent of the net income receipt uh, is because Baffa does not receive the whole fee paid by members, right? So this is the fee, there the fee go. element now. Mm. A small percentage of every payment made to purchase a Baffa membership is taken as a processing fee by the third party online payment platform. Yes, that's a small payment, but also that counts. So that is already deducted from the fifty that they don't Straight receive away. anyway. Yeah. Then you go on to say, okay, what's left? Let's split it up and give it to these avenues to make the to, to make the game better, right? So, if you've read that, that should almost answer the raging question about why you're not. In fact, it should, it does answer it. Why you're not getting your whole the whole yeah. Fund. I'm <laughs> sure many of you have gone to purchase something. Can you see the processing fee? Yeah. Like yeah. Exactly even that, yeah. our Super Bowl party. Like it's yeah, not us exactly that put it there. There's a fee. You have yeah. anything. Any bro. online ticket. Any exactly. Online ticket. So like, why? Because it's baffled. Do people feel they can just say what they want and? And by all means, you can say what you want. There's no rule to say fake you can't. Outrage, man. Honestly, it's I just don't. Out, I don't. I, I, I struggle to understand. Like, and again, I'm apologies if it sounds we're coming, like we're yeah. being blunt because I I know for a sign there's some people that can definitely deal with the whole fifty. But yeah. you have to remember, like you you paid for something, you've received an element of the service. That's it. You're not going to get all of it back. Sadly, that's just the reality of it. Mm-hmm. So, um, just don't plan for the whole of the fifty and. Take take from it what you can, and if you you can maybe go to a small claims court or you know maybe do some research and see if you can get an additional back from from Baffer. But I'm sure if you were to write them a lot, you know an email stressing your your situation that mm-hmm. they might be they might I'm I'm not speaking for Baffer they might be able to do something for you to maybe give you more of a percentage back. But mm-hmm. before you know publicly bashing them, we we have to start doing some homework, man. I'll put it this way: I'm hearing that certain teams and players are taking it to their credit card companies. I'm not, I'm not surprised. Yeah. What, uh, because so because they're, they're, they're trying to argue that they were promised, they paid, they used their credit card to oh, pay for right, a service right. that they didn't receive. Right, and, yeah. and rightly so, you can take it again, to your credit and card. You, and you can't can do that. Mm-hmm. But the moment you go to Baffa, and Baffa just make, read that statement to you mm-hmm. saying, of that 50 that you give us, yes, we yes. don't even see all of it anyway. Yeah. Exactly. So how can we give you all of something that we haven't got? Exactly. It's, it's, just, it's just one of those things. And it, again, it's sad and it's frustrating, but... I keep I keep having to say it. Nobody planned for this. Nobody no, nobody, nobody did, assumed bro. this was gonna happen. Like yeah. you wouldn't have paid your fifty knowing that this was gonna happen. Would you? <laughs> this so is the first time it's happened in the history of the sport in the UK. Well, yeah, exactly. That's, there you go. Yeah. Like, and and it's tough. And again, I understand that people are in situations where that fifty pounds would go could course, go a long course. way, a very 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 long way. Mm-hmm. But you, you parted ways of it, you know. Um, with the intention of going to play, so you knew, yeah. Exactly it, that. So so it had gone. And and I guess you just have to plan with what the element that you can get back. Mm. And I think to those people, something is better than nothing, man. It's, yeah. it, it, mm. it's, it's, it sounds harsh, and it's mm. and and I don't know, man. It's 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 tough, but it's the reality of the situation, yeah. man. I just like before we wrap up as well. Like I get, I I understand. I don't want everyone to think we're just one so we're so one sided. I'm personally, I'm just going by how a business would work in any other given way. Like, yeah. I know people that probably see Baffer as that because they assume Baffer are trash. Essentially, that's what people assume. And I know the state of the league hasn't been great, but like, it's the same thing in any other given situation. You know what I mean? Like, and I know like we've all said the financial the financial situations are different, and we're not all pro one sided. 
so the other side of the scale, maybe they could have come out and said before releasing a statement again, done a poll. Um, what would you rather? Would you rather yeah. have the twenty half uh, the twenty three pounds back, or would you or rather it to, give it to yeah. the following season, or some well, kind do, of do both? To be, to be fair, because like like I said, some people might want it now and might need it now, exactly, and some yeah. people might be like, you know what, rather than get half back, let all of it mm-hmm. go into next season, sort of thing. So you keep it yeah. into a pot for yeah. my bit for next season. I think people are. It, it sounds like the majority of people wanted to see some kind of communication and transparency from yeah. the league in terms of handling the situation but again I just want to say if this was any any other type of business an airline you booked a flight they're not going to come at you and be like you, yeah. do you want this or do you want that if it doesn't mm-hmm. work like that yeah. so if you want the league to get to a point where it's respected as a league as a business as an organisation this is how it's going to have to go um, and, and yeah. again please no one take this personally this isn't us this is no one's mm. financial situations I think this is just the way it has to go like mm. you know what I mean I don't so, Yeah. stop comparing to other leagues as well I think Ah, we are nowhere near at all the leagues like France who have decided you know what we're going to give everybody the, we're going to um, roll it over to next year mm. we Ireland actually need the well. money yeah. Like yeah, our league it. needs yeah. the this money to I mean. survive it's not and cash rich exactly. at all we're just about staying afloat mm. realistically yeah, right. if you deep it and those sports there probably got backing from government and stuff we're, we're still in the independent. we're still looking yeah. for scrounging yeah. here and there yeah, you're right. we're crawling basically to get us to a position where we can Start mm-hmm. moving forward, yeah. and what that's going to take is for people to dip their hands in their money and give back for all your money, please. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, <laughs> I think we'll wrap it up, oh, man. Um, no doubt that people it's going to be talked about for a while yet because mm. Baffer always is. But thank you for tuning in so far. Um, if you haven't listened to our other 60 plus episodes, uh, you can find them on all major podcast platforms. It's a library. Addition, yeah. in a, it's literally it's a, a library, library, man. library, man. In addition to that, if you haven't voted for the X's and O's for the best Please. listeners choice podcast, sponsored by Acast and the British Pop, uh, Pop, uh, British podcast awards it's a mouthful man mm. um, then please do hit the link in our bio on our Instagram Facebook vote for the X's and O's it goes a long 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 way because essentially this isn't necessarily a win for us this is for Britball man Britball, I keep saying man. it and it sounds cliche yeah. but if we can put Britball on the map all this stuff that we're talking about can actually come to fruition Word, so man. like vote 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 um, like it share it subscribe it find us on YouTube Twitter Instagram Facebook let us know man hit us up peace, peace.